a new day dawns in Borneo, which introduces us to a new photographer and model. Jacques Veyers is certainly no stranger to World Swimsuit, having shot for the magazine countless times over the years. His friendly, outgoing nature and wealth of experience brings a welcome boost of energy to the team as they head into the halfway point of the shoot. So I just arrived in Borneo to, to Gaia Island Resort here in Malaysia and um, arrived to torrential rain but suddenly it's cleared and uh, we're jumping to it, kind of rocking and rolling and hair and makeup has been rushed and trying to get done. So first time working with Tanya, she's uh, coming from LA. She is that sort of girl who you can really put anywhere and, and, it, and it'll work. So I've decided to stay quite local at the resort just to not sort of have too much travel time and, and capitalize on the life that's eventually coming out. So yeah, we're gonna rock and roll in minutes. My name is Tanya. I was born in Russia and currently I'm, I'm living in Los Angeles. This is my first time shooting World Swimsuit and I was really excited. I really love the photographer, Jacques. I love his work, so I was so thrilled to come and have an opportunity to shoot. And I've never been in this part of the world, so it's always such a journey and such an experience. So Tanya was the first girl I shot. Uh, she was somebody that I hadn't worked with. I actually just met her out socially in, in LA and um, she sort of stood out in the crowd for me and got chatting and she's a really amazing girl and you know, got on really well. So I thought, let me bring her on, on this trip. And my story sort of changed initially from what I planned with her just because we unfortunately had got a bit of bad weather in the beginning. So the Tanya had to be very specific because it was so location driven. I needed to place her in the positions I needed her to be in. She just ran with it so beautifully and you know everything I, I, I sort of set up for her, she just made her own and, and was very comfortable in the positions. And you know, I kind of made sure that I went through everything with her and, and showed her our progress and showed her the pictures and she was loving what was going on. So that was motivation for me to continue in that same direction. And you know, the resort is such an amazing place in terms of texture and there's always something, palm trees and there's always a beautiful sculpted garden and the beaches are really amazing. So it was kind of a natural thing just to get started almost in the easiest place really. Um, so it, it was just by chance that I ended up where I did with her and it just it was amazing. She's such a strong model, she's got a very strong face, very natural. I kind of pulled sets out of, you know, built sort of little sets for her and we found, you know, wood where we could and we found, you know, leaves and we just literally like built these sets for her and, and created this environment for her, sort of a little island, tropical island vibe for her and it, it paid off and it looked really good. I was very happy with it. I've got our last shot before lunch with Tanya. Um, I've kind of built this little set. I've had some holes cut into a piece of bamboo and I'm gonna get water poured out through the bamboo, give it some nice effect and get some water on her body. Should look really good, I hope. Shooting with Jacques was so refreshing and different because he would set up the set and he would always kind of know what he wanted. Yet I had a freedom to do what I felt like is right for me. So it was like this collaboration of photographer and I, and I loved it. And shooting in Borneo and shooting in Malaysia and having all these palm leaves that are creating different shapes. I don't have anything like that. I've never seen anything like that. It's really lovely. Yeah. 